Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in helpless babe, this gift of love and righteousness, scorns by the ones he came to save, till all that cross was Jesus died, the wrath of God was satisfied, for every sin on him was laid, here in the death of Christ I forth in glorious day, up from the grave he rose again, as has his turn in victory, sin cast us lost, his grief on me, for I am his, and he is mine, both with the precious blood of Christ. No guilt in life, no fear in death, this is the power of Christ in me, from first last cry to final break, Jesus commands my destiny, no power of hell, no scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hand, till he returns. Light my strength, my song, this cornerstone, this solid ground, found through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are stilled, when striving cease, my my all in all, here is the love of Christ I Justin Muhumusa, praise for her late right brother Godwin Mutekanga, that God will rest him in his eternal peace. Benedite Babugura, praise for her family, for her family members and herself through the intercession of the Holy Spirit for her private intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord. Let us pray 
that may all, we may also do the will of God the Father. Let us pray through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, learning from her the humility and the sincerity of heart, always giving ourselves, surrendering ourselves into the will of God the Father. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my, my thoughts and, and my in my words, in what, what I have done and in what, what I have failed, failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, yes, the very Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, who is the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who will that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant we pray that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may marry to become partakers even in his divine nature who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Behold, a virgin shall conceive. The first reading, a reading from the book of Isaiah. In those days, the Lord spoke to Ahaz. Ask a sign of the Lord your God. Let it be deep as Sheol or high as heaven. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, and I will not put the Lord to test. And he said, Hear then, O house of David, is it too little for you to worry, men, that you worry my God also? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Take counsel together, but it will come to naught. Speak a word, but it will not stand. For, for God is with us. 
This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm. See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. You delight not in sacrifice and offerings, but in open ear. You do not ask for holocaust and victim. Then I said, see, I have come. See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. In the scroll of the book, it stands written of me. I delight to do your will, O oh my God. Your instruction lies deep within me. See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. Your justice I have proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips I have not sealed. You know it, O oh Lord. See, I have come to do your will. Your saving help I have not hidden in my heart. Of your faithfulness and salvation I have spoken. I made no secret of your merciful love and your faithfulness to the great assembly. See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. May we rise up to welcome the gospel. I have come to do your will, O God, as it is written of me in the scroll of the book. The second reading, a reading from the Hebrews. It is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats should take away sins. Consequently, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifices and offerings you have not desired, but a body you have prepared for me. In burnt offerings and sin offerings you have taken no pleasure. Then I said, Behold, I have come to dear will, O God, as it is written of me, in the roll of the book. When he said above, you have neither desired nor taken pleasure in sacrifices and offerings and burnt offerings and sin offerings. These are offered according to the law. Then he added, behold, I have come to do your will. He abolishes the first in order to establish the second. And by that will we have, we will have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May we rise up to welcome the gospel. Conceive and bear a son. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Lord. At that time, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin be thrown to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary. And she came to her and said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying, and considered in her mind what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I don't know a man? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you, and therefore the child to be born will be called Hori, the Son of God. And behold, your kinswoman Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For with God nothing will be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and he shall, and shall be called Emmanuel. Brethren, the Lord has manifested his great love towards us, towards the human race. And in this, he has made manifest the full realization of the new covenant that he had made with Abraham. And that covenant is a covenant of the fullness of God's revelation and the fullness of God's redemption to the human race. This covenant is a new covenant and everlasting. It is not a covenant of sacrifices. It is not a covenant of words. But it is a covenant of his very love that he has manifested fully to us in the ministry of the Annunciation of our Lord Jesus Christ. This covenant has been fully fulfilled in this mystery. And when he had received all the kinds of offerings. He saw, no, these sacrifices and offerings cannot praise him, cannot praise me. Let me send my only begotten son, whom I am well pleased of, whom I am well delighted with, to go and manifest my full presence and love to the humanity. And this is what we have listened 
in the, in the second reading. And this, his son never came to do his will, but to do the will of God the Father. And for thus he says, Behold, I have come to do your will, O God. He is a true sacrifice, and he is a sacrifice, or an oblation of our perfect reconciliation with God the Father. When all was lost, Christ came the perfect oblation, all the perfect sacrifice of our reconciliation with God. For that, we, for that reason, he came. And you see, this is the reason that today we celebrate, we break a bit, because today is a ceremony. We break a bit from this, our Lent season, to celebrate this ceremony, the perfect reconciliation, and, and to see how God has planned to save the entire humanity. Him being the, uh, an operation for our reconciliation, yes, he has come not to enjoy, but to do the will of God the Father. I think this has been stressed from the first reading till the gospel. See, Lord, I have come to do your will. Do we do the will of God the Father? And this is what we are going to hear when we be listening on that day when he's giving his life to save the entire humanity. That yes, even at the moment when he felt that his heart is so heavy, it is, 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 is uh, pressed. Will I really fulfill the will of God the Father? And then he prays and says, Lord, my Father, save me from this cup. And he says, but not let not be my will, but let your will be done. He does this to complete the will of God the Father for that reason that he came. And this has been realized when Mary gives herself to do the will of God the Father. My dear brethren, let us go all to the school of Mary to be or to embrace that humility, the humbleness of our heart, that we may always do the will of God the Father. The Lord be with you. and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, who substantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down. By the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and he was buried. He rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who is the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us sum all our prayers and the needs and petitions in the very prayer asking Mother Mary to intercede for us as we say, Harry Mary.
full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. This our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offerings, so that she who is aware that her beginning lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son, may you rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity who lives and reigns forever and ever amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it's right and just it is the right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for many's sake. By the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit, lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb. That the promise to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of the nations be accomplished beyond all tearing. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered the ring into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In the similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in the memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and confess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and administer to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Dr. Cyprian Kizito, Dr. Cyprian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who are fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph has Paul's most chaste, the blessed apostles, Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, Saint Francis Xavier, Saint Charles Ranga and all the companions, Saint, Com Saint Daniel Comboni, and with all the saints who have praised you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray trusting in the Lord that we may do the will of God the Father in the very prayer that he taught us, our Father. Who art in heaven, Lord be thy name, your, your kingdom, kingdom come. come. Your will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin, and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of Jesus, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. So Christ, you.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called the Lord is supper. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be filled. May the body and the blood of Christ keep us safe and lead us life everlasting. Amen.
Behold, your virgin will conceive and bear a son, and his name will be called Emmanuel. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, may we, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go forth to glorify the Lord with our very lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a blessed day. Same Thank you very much. Thank you.